Hello, this is Pastor Scott, and welcome to The Message. That's right, it is just The Message now. And a few things will be different. Some things are the same. Links to subscribe and donate to the channel are down below, as well as a button to uh, click, and you can send us an email. Love to hear from you. A joke. A joke. A uh, young farmer gets married, and he... Um, and he's invited the keeps inviting his mother-in-law over and the mother-in-law keeps complaining about everything she's just complaining all the time she's making his life miserable she's making his marriage miserable she's making his his her daughter miserable the whole she's just complaining all the time so he tries to fix things it's never good enough for her. finally she wants to see the barn and he's like why do you want to see the barn she's like i want to see the barn i want to make sure everything is right for my daughter my darling daughter who i love so much fine he takes her out to the barn Takes her through the barn. As she's walking through the barn, his mule rears back, kicks her. She dies instantly. Whoa. So at the funeral, um, local priest standing there while the people are going through the receiving line, greeting the family of the deceased. And the priest notices that when the when a woman goes up to this to this young farmer, um, he ends up uh, he ends up nodding his head. And when a, when a young man walks by the farmer, he ends up shaking his head. This happens over and over. A young woman walks by. A young man walks by. Over and over and over with all the young couples in the, in, the, in the community. So finally the priest walks over the guy and he says, What's going on? I noticed that every time a, a young woman walks by, you, go, you nod your head. And every time a young man walks by, you, you, you shake your head. And he says, yeah, well, every time a young woman walks by, she tells me how terrible the tragedy is. And I nod my head and say, yes, yes, it was a tragedy. Every time a young man goes by, he asks if I can borrow the mule. And I say he's booked up for a year. So there you go. So there's a joke for today. Uh, the message is from Isaiah 53, which I talked about in my sermon last week, actually. Um, it's talking about the coming of Jesus. It says, Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our disease we accounted him stricken and afflicted by God, struck, uh, struck down by God and afflicted. Yet he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. This, of course, is a description of what Jesus has done for us. And rather than go into the details and the particulars of, of what all happened and why, I think what it is is, is just a tremendous message of God's love. For you and for me and for all of us. And that Jesus came and was willing to do all these things. Uh, he bore our infirmities, carried our diseases, uh, was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. This, is, this shows how much God loves you. And so when things happen, when things are bad, when things are challenging, when things are rough in your life, uh, remember that. Remember that, uh, that this is how much God loves you. That Jesus did all these things for you. Let's pray, and let's ask God to help us remember that in the, in the good times and the bad times. And we'll take, um, take a few minutes, or a few seconds rather, and uh, just get comfortable in our chairs. Take some deep breaths, and let's pray. God, thank you for what Jesus has done. Thank you for his love of us and your love for us and for the lengths to which he was willing to go to, to love us and to 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 bless us and to save us. Thank you for that. Um, when things get tough in life, help me to remember that. Help me to remember your love, that you love me, uh, that you love all of us. And uh, I pray that that, that that knowledge would give me strength and courage, uh, whatever faces me and any of us in the days to come. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> Rook. The world is crazy, but I know that, uh, that this is still true. Jesus is still risen. That hasn't changed. Uh, his tomb is still empty. That hasn't changed. So be smart. Stay safe. Love everybody. Let us know what you think of the new format, and I'll speak to you soon.